What's up guys? I wanted to film an easy everyday look that, that doesn't take a lot of products and doesn't take a lot of time. Usually when I do this, it takes me about, I would say 10, 15 minutes tops. I never like to go completely bare with my eye look. So it's just one shade in the crease and just a little shimmer on the lid. No lashes, of course, because who has time to do that on a daily basis? I will list all those products down below that I've used. I try to keep most of the stuff that I use drugstore. I hope you all enjoy this. It's very easy to recreate. Just look through your drawer, pick up what you have. This is super simple. Like I said, easy to follow. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna go in with our Smashbox Primer Water. I love spraying this all over my face. It just feels like it's drinking a big glass of water when I do that. I'm going in with my favorite primer at the moment. It is the Becca Backlight Primer. If you're oily, I would not recommend that one. Then I'm going in with the Benefit Pore Primer to make sure all those pores on my face don't suck in that foundation and make those pores look extremely visible because we want our face to look very airbrushed and smooth and soft and using a pore primer definitely helps with that. And now we're going in with one of my all-time faves. It's the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. This stuff is amazing. It doesn't settle into my fine lines and I picked it up on Amazon for about $10 with shipping, so you can't beat that. Yeah, it's just be doing a video. What do you need? Yeah. Me still. <laughs> I can't. I still. I'm gonna hear some music. <laughs> you need to turn it off. Cause we're just gonna be doing some makeup. Okay, do some makeup. <laughs> Stop. Do makeup. Yeah, we had to have a little dance break. I know I'm not the only one guilty of doing this, and this is why my makeup sometimes takes me a lot longer. So moving on, we are tapping that all over our face after we kind of mix that up on the back of our hand. And I really love this foundation because it blends out so easily. It lasts a really long time. It doesn't sink into my creases because I'm a mom of three. I'm almost 30. I have them. And I always blend down my neck just to make sure that foundation matches perfectly because sometimes we don't always get the perfect match. So now I'm just putting on a lip mask because my lips are a little dry and this is from Best Damn Beauty. Yeah, their lip mask is amazing, check it out. And then going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. And I love this again because look at those bags I have under my eyes and the dark circles. I don't sleep very good. It covers them all up and it does not crease as much as most of the other concealers I have tried. Then blending it out with my Morphe Beauty Blender or Beauty Sponge. And remember to get this wet, squeeze it under some water because it does not blend out as good. Then I'm going in with my RCMA Translucent Powder. I love this stuff. It's like $12 online. I used to use the Laura Mercier and that was amazing too, but come on, that's like 40 bucks and this is 12. So do the math, it's worth it, it's some good stuff patting that all over my T-zone. I really don't have to do it all over my face because I'm not super oily. I mostly just like to pat it where I put the concealer just to make sure it's not gonna move and crease throughout the day. Now I'm going in with my Alexis Ren ColourPop palette and I'm using this bronzer that's in here. It's a really pretty shade. It's not too orangey, it's not too cool. Um, I'm not super tan right now and it looks really good on my skin. So, Fair Girl, darker skin girls, they can use this. Just dusting that all over my cheeks with my favorite bronzing brush that I own right now. It's from Morphe. I will list the brush number below. And of course, I always kind of bring it down my neck a little bit. Now I'm going in with my Milani blush in the shade Luminoso. I think that's how you say it. Maybe not. Sounds a little weird. But yeah, it's a very pretty blush. It's probably like my number one favorite color that I own. It's not glittery. It just gives you that nice glow on your cheeks, especially when you're kind of doing this natural look. So now we are going to our eyes. I never like to leave my eyes blank. I like to have something on them. So I'm just taking that bronzer from the ColourPop palette and dusting that all into my crease. And now I'm picking up a ColourPop shadow that I have. I will list that shadow down below and I most of the time just use a finger 
to pat this all over and then I'll grab a brush and kind of just make sure it gets into the inner corner parts really good and up towards the top it's all nice and smooth, didn't get too high. Now I'm going in with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This has become my new favorite since they discontinued my all-time number one favorite, the NYC. It works pretty much the same and it's close to the same price as the NYC was. Now just curling my lashes because I don't put on falsies every day. I know some of these amazing YouTubers like to do that in their daily routine, but like I said, I'm a mom of three. I got 10, 15 minutes in the morning, so we gotta get this on quick. Now moving on to brows, I'm going in with my Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Caramel. And when I'm doing an everyday look, I really don't take a whole lot of time making these super defined and perfect. I just make sure they're filled in and I draw my little tail on and then we're good to go. Now I'm just tapping a little frost on my brow bone just to give that a little shine. I like my natural everyday looks to be more glowy, I guess, I with highlighters in my inner corners and on my cheeks and brow bone, I just like to glow. And this is a very pretty highlighter from Gerard Cosmetics. I think it's in the shade Audrey, maybe. I'll list it down below again. But yeah, it's one of my favorites. I wish my camera was picking up how amazing this is, but I'm new to editing and doing all this. So I'll figure out my camera settings eventually, but you can still see it's a, it's a pretty color. And I always like to kind of pat that with my sponge just so it's not like a straight line of highlight. I like to blend it a little bit into my blush. Now I'm going in with a, another favorite from the drugstore and this is from NYX and it's very similar to Max Boldly Bare lip liner that I've used for years. And this is like four bucks versus MAC lip liners, which are, I can't get, maybe 15, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but NYX is a lot less expensive. Now I'm going in with my ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Sure Thing. I wear this pretty much every day and I always get compliments on it. It's in their creme formula, so it's super comfortable to wear. Not too glossy, but not too matte. Then of course we want to set everything and I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And that is it for this look guys. It's super simple, not very many products required at all. I will list those down below. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.